What's up guys? Welcome to today's teacher tip. Today we're going to get a little bit more technical. We're going to talk about keynotes. Quick disclaimer guys, um, Keynote is a Mac program and so if you're not an Apple MacBook user, uh, this video probably won't apply to you very well. So first let's talk about what Keynote is. Keynote is a free program that comes on all Apple computers. It is the PC equivalent of PowerPoint. So although it's designed as like strictly a presentation program, you can do so many cool things other than awesome presentations with it. And so I'm gonna give you today three reasons why you should be using Keynote. Reason number one, it's already on your computer. So like I said earlier, if you're still watching this video, you are an Apple user. And so it's on your computer already. Now as a teacher, I know there's a lot of other teachers out there who use Canva or PicMonkey, or maybe they use like Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, other really good programs and websites. The reason why I think you should be using Keynote instead is because everything that all of those things can do, Keynote can do too. And Keynote is a free program that is already on your computer. You just have to know how to use it. Reason number two why you should be using Keynote is because you can make literally anything out of it. Yes, it's designed for presentations and if you've seen some of my other videos, um, you've probably seen some of my presentations and you can make awesome presentations with it. But you can also make everything like stationary out of it. And what I mean is, every single worksheet I have for students is made on Keynote. Every single handout I ever use is made on Keynote. Every poster in this room that I've made myself, I made on Keynote. All the decorations and the placards and everything I made that's also in my classroom is made on Keynote. So presentations, worksheets, handouts, thumbnails, posters, placards, you can make all of this stuff on this one program. And because you can do so many things, I think everyone should be using it. Reason number three why you should be using Keynote is because it's user friendly. So everything I've talked about today, yes, there are other programs and websites out there that can do those things too. But the reason why I like Keynote the most is because it has that familiar Apple thing about it. User friendliness. Like this program is so user friendly. It's so easy to learn how to use. And that is one of those things that like Apple does better than everybody else is like, even if there's a more technical, better thing out there, people will choose the Apple product just because it's easier to use. The drag and drop features on it are really good. Their animations for presentations are called builds. Their pre-designed builds are so good looking compared to so many other programs out there. The layout is super logical. There's tabs with very logical progressions in them. And so to give you an example, like with comparing to Photoshop, um, I've been trying to teach myself lately how to use Photoshop. And although Photoshop is an incredible program, and I'm really impressed with it, I oftentimes find myself getting kind of frustrated being like, man, it takes two minutes to do this one thing in Photoshop, but it takes me like two seconds to do that thing in Keynote. And so obviously Photoshop is a way more professional, way more technical program. Um, and I'm not trying to say that it's not as good as Keynote, but for the teaching things that I do and the things that I make for YouTube or for teaching, what I've found is that Keynote is the best and it's the most efficient. So if you're using an online website to make all of your stuff, or if you have like a subscription that you're paying for to be able to use certain programs, I would totally get away from that and I would just start using Keynote. Anyways guys, that's the video. Um, comment below if you have any questions about Keynote and I'll totally answer them. I've been using Keynote for seven years professionally now and so I consider myself an expert on it. There's nothing I don't know how to do with this program and so I want to share that with everybody else. I'm going to start making some Keynote tutorial videos because I want to share with everybody just how awesome this program is and all the many things that it can do that most people out there probably don't know it can do. Alright guys, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on Friday.